I, Maitreya, step through the veil into your midst. And in this hour, through the stillness that you have manifest, I ray forth unto each of you an aspect of God consciousness that will assist you on your path of stillness and making greater progress and alighting into those divine realms of spirit, even the pure land of the Buddhas, where you may experience the bliss of beingness in the Buddhic state, where through the great silence of perfection, you enter into a more intimate, ongoing relationship with all that is real, all that is pure, all that is holy. It is in these sacred moments of stillness, dearest ones, that you garner unto yourself greater aspects of godliness that will result in your ultimate enlightenment, your divine joy, and the expressiveness of your divinity through creativity that you desire. When you allow this state to be given birth within you each day in a greater way through mindfulness, there is a new authenticity that manifests in your world of true attainment rather than that which you have thought that you had reached only through the spoken word. It is one thing to speak with human voice. It is another to emanate the logoic light through the word that you have become, whereby through the words that you speak, light is manifest. Through your voice and your throat chakra, in resonance with the divine harmonic of that word of the Logos, the living light energy of the Divine One as the third person of the Holy Trinity manifests through your entire being, one with God. You see, when my son Jesus spoke, there was an electrifying manifestation of the light within the worlds of those who heard that word. They were raised in the very vital cosmic energy field that he wielded. There was healing, there was transmutation, there was enlightenment. And by God's grace, it may also be so with you when your Christ consciousness manifests through your entire being and you have put aside all things that distract you from the Word the Logos, the Christ of the cosmos. 
I have been called the Cosmic Christ and Planetary Buddha. Have you meditated upon what the Cosmic Christ is and discerned how that logoic light of the Word is present throughout the Cosmic Egg as the creative power of life itself ideated from the one source. When you can tap into this energy, blessed ones, your awareness increases every moment in terms of what you may be a receptor for and of of cosmic energies, divine radiances, and even those quintessences and vibratory fields that illumine galaxies and vast star systems. If you would gaze into my eyes in the image on the wall opposite the messenger and focus upon these as orbs of light and doorways to divinity, you may find aspects of this cosmic Christ consciousness illumining your life, bringing greater peace and divine progress on your path and providing for you each one an impetus to soar in spirit and if you choose to also be a nexus of teaching and illumination for many life streams. Those who resonate with me truly are those whom I may rely upon to provide the teachings in humility that will raise life and edify the brethren and the sisters on their path of light. If you seek too soon to share what you perceive as the seminal teachings without first having had the experience of enlightenment and the true nurturing of your selfhood from within through a disciplined path of beingness, then, blessed ones, what you share may be fraught with aspects of your lesser self that filter through your consciousness still. That is why the mantle that we provide for amanuenses of light is a safeguard to assure that what is released is filtered through the Christ consciousness and that the human does not devour the disciples through one untethered to God through humility and through the grace of the Spirit Most Holy. All true avatars understand this dynamic of how God is present within them and that the God light is the way, the truth, and the life that they present as the opportunity for spiritual growth and self-transcendence. Therefore, if you would seek to edify the brethren and the holy sisters, be certain that you first follow the pole star of being, the cosmic Christ, and the teaching that descends from that realm of Buddhic presence. Then what you release is 
and will remain sanctified within this dynamic. For it is born fully of that light and the fruit of its radiance is obvious through the living light energy that those who are sensitive will feel within that release. Gracious ones, I come at the behest of Jesus this day to provide this understanding because he sees the requirement for many more of you to step into that opportunity and responsibility to share these teachings in coming months, years, and decades. And when you understand that through the great principles and precepts of the Christ, that you may be a nexus for the way, the truth, and the life to flow, then that which is manifest through you is truly sanctified, authenticated, and stamped with God approval by the great Arhats and teachers of the ages. Through the ongoing transmission of teachings through Meru University, we will present a foundation for the golden crystal age. Now, fortified by that diamond radiance of the indestructible Buddhic mind. Yes, dearest ones, these teachings will not pass away the word does not pass away when it is empowered by the Holy Spirit's presence. Though all worlds may pass away, yet my word, God's word, does not pass. Understand this eternal truth of the Logos and be uplifted and supported in your ongoing work of spiritual enlightenment. Oh. in the pure land that you are co-creating even now upon earth through your presence, through your oneness with the all-encompassing one. I thank you.